morning, everyone. It's a good night's sleep. I'm going to show you the uh, breakfast area. I didn't get to show it to you yesterday, so there was everyone was cooking and cleaning and stuff. So I'm going to drop off my bag, and then we're going to show you what it looks like downstairs. Okay, so this is the kitchen and uh, lounge with toilets. So there's murals on the wall. Fire exit, High Street Hostel. Their recommendations of places to go. Here, here's the little it's like a TV area. There's a smoke in the back. Books you can lounge and play games. Pool table, dining area, and then in the back here you'd have the kitchen where people could cook. So it's closed between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. So at 7 it opens up and here's a little nice nook. You can have your breakfast looking out there or dinner. Here's the map of Scotland. So Edinburgh. Glasgow, here we are right there. There's Glasgow. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to check out of here. Leave my bags here for a bit. We have to be up by 10. Um, I'm going to head around and see if I can find a place to have a nice breakfast and a nice well-deserved coffee. The room was good, we'll talk about it a little later. No problems there. So here's the outside of the hostel. And we're lucky again with the weather right now. Here's the ladder, the larder, sorry. So they're getting ready. It was really busy yesterday. And uh, we're gonna walk around, take a look to see if I can find something to shoving me old gob. I'm kind of hungry right now. I had a good night's sleep. Uh, obviously yesterday was a running around day. Um, we didn't get much uh, much break. I went to bed. I crashed out early. I think it was, uh, I don't know, half eight, nine o'clock. And I slept right till like six in the morning. There was a few people came in and joined the room at night. And they weren't that noisy and that. I had my ear, my earplugs in, my mask on, and I slept well. It's a beautiful morning. This is the high street at the Royal Mile. We went up and then the castle will be all the way there. And we're going to try to maybe check out, see if we can find some of the, uh, the Harry Potter stuff. Like there's the school and a couple like that. So stay with me and see what we get up to today. And uh, also want to maybe try some of uh, the haggis. There's a haggis with parsnips or uh, yeah, parsnips or turnips, I mean, and some... Um, mashed potatoes. It's supposed to be all the rage. We're going to give that a crack later on too. We'll be turning right up here for our next attraction, but I was wanted to see this, uh, this old building. It's right on the corner. This big old building. Chamber Street and South Bridge. It really looks interesting. Just wanted to see what it is. It's a nice big dome on the top with a sculpture. Looks like it's a Talbot Rice Gallery. Always free. That's a lot of things. A lot of things in Scotland there, like the museums and that. There's no charge to it. Ooh, it looks University of Edinburgh Old College. So it's closed right now. Yeah, that's what it is. So maybe I'll stay here, head in with the camera, see if it can give you a view. Looks interesting. Something to have a peek at later. It's right opposite Tesco Express. So I'll we'll turn it off and keep moving on. Size of that Pro. Hasn't missed too many meals, that one. Cleaning up to help cleaning, help keep Edinburgh clean. Here's some nice old buildings. That one's getting renovated on there, but just to give you the period work of the buildings. And there's another one there, and there's two statues up ahead. So we're gonna go take a look and see what they're all about. So this is the National Museum of Scotland. So we're gonna go in here later when it's open. And like I said, everything's free there, so 
William Henry Playfair. There you go. And there's another one up there. Here's the magnificent entrance to the museum. Look at the statues on the top. It's a fine building. Big, huge wooden doors on the entrance. And then we're coming up to another monument. I guess look at the, the building. Where, that's the Crown Office, it says. Big old building. It's well preserved there. And here we have William Chambers. Here at the back end is the modern part of the National Museum of Scotland. So they've added to it, obviously. A lot of tourism here. But to give you an idea, in, um, in the room, there was, I didn't really make him, he was sleeping away, but it was, uh, he had Arabic writing uh, books on his uh, bed. There was someone that uh, was German, French, uh, Italian and someone from Vermont so you do get a mixture plus you have me the old Canadian slash Irish Celtic bit and here we have the very popular bars that everyone has to come to when you come to Scotland and Edinburgh is uh, Greyfriars Bobby this is a story about the dog when the owner died for 12 years he went and sat at the uh, grave of his owner and then they stopped, someone took him in and, and that, but he always went back and visit the, uh, the grave of his owner. That's the statue right there. And then there's the Grey Fires Bobby Inn. It's established 1772. And then this brings you to the Grey Fires Kirkland, which is Harry Potter inspiration type place. So if you look up places of interest in the Harry Potter and that, this one pops up on it. And here's a grave marking for the wee dog. Died in 1872. A lot of respect for the little dog, eh? And here we have All wood carved and gold embossed. Really nice. Like this old tombstone. quickly around this graveyard. Let's do a little tour around it in the back. See what we see. This is one of the places I wanted to take you to. Flodden Wall. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Let's investigate. Sixteenth century city walls. Um, 
after the Scots' defeat by the English in 1513 the Battle of Flodden Field. The history encircling 57 hectares and the population of around 10,000. So it's an old city walls in it. And there's some more bigger blocks here. George Harriet School, founded in 1628 by George Harriet, Jeweler, and Goldsmith, um, to provide education for the, uh, the pure, fatherless parents. That uh, so it was a provide free education to children from widows and uh, widowers. And then it's, you can actually look it up for the information on the uh, website. It's www. GeorgeHarriots.com. They give you all information. So it's the school. So this is also inspired from the uh, the Harry Potter books. And then you can see the castle right in front of it. Um, some view, eh? Get out of it. So now we'll make our way back to the streets and keep walking. Here's an interesting building as you walk down the Candlemaker Road from the Good Friar, uh, Good Friar Bobby's pub. Look at the building, it goes all the way up. It's an old furniture store. And that's the way you go up to the go to uh, Greyfriars Kirkland. So, Edinburgh Oz Bar. So they have the AFL, which is Aussie Rose Football, on offer there. And now we're gonna go to um, another place of interest. It's, uh, it's like a, a merchant's area, supposedly. Anyways, we'll go and find out and see what that's all about. Okay, so at the end of that lane that we walked up, if you went up here, go right around. Now bring us up to the castle where we were at before. So here it has like a grass market hotel, and they see there's a lot of pubs and that, and eateries. So the smallest pub in Scotland, Maggie Dixon's, Last Drop, you know, it goes all the way on this area. So we'll, we'll just walk around here see what it's all about. There's a patch here. What's this about? Okay. And let him glorify God in the grass market. This is the execution spot. That's what it was about. I remember reading up about this on my history. So this is where they executed people, right on the spot. And that's a list of all the people that they put on there. This, on this spot, many martyrs and governors died for the Protestant faith. So right here. This is where they were put to death. So that's what the place is known for. It wasn't a marketplace at all. There's a fountain right there. So that way to the Great Fires, you keep to the left. And this way, it will bring us right back up towards the castle. Let's walk around here, down here, and we're going to turn to the right. Jeez, uh, we better hurry up and pick up the rubbish. I know there's vans around coming around collecting that, but I think the, uh, the seagulls are having a feast on the, uh, the remnants of uh, last night's takings. Look at the size of them. These ones aren't shy, eh? A couple of pigeons in the mix. A 
pigeons aren't shy of people. I had one I was eat, eating that pie yesterday. One week walked right under my leg just because there was some crumbs underneath me. So they're really familiar with people. Here's an Italian restaurant. It's a beautiful day again. How lucky are we? I'm gonna have to ditch my jacket again. I purposely didn't pack the jacket because I figured I wouldn't need it. Uh, I'd need it today, and uh, might have to rejig the old wardrobe situation here because. Uh, we might be in for another fine day. Jeez, imagine that, two days in a row. I want to do that tour for um, the underground tour. So we're going to get that done today, hopefully. So here's some more Italian pizzerias. There's a couple in there. It's a third Italian restaurant on this stretch. Pizzi Paris, it's a restaurant. And here's another pub, Bellhaven, the White Hart Inn. It's a nice sign. It's a nice old frontage of it, eh? With the stag. Established 1516. Well, I mean, it's another, what well, says traditional American. But, and then there's uh, a higher end restaurant there Metro Bar Brasserie. The Beehive Inn, American Independent Pizza. a nice one out of the front as well. Down there is the Fiddler's Arms. I wonder what's up that way. You go up that way or this way? Here's the truck coming to collect all the refuge. Poor pigeons and that will have nothing to go after. The Black Bull, number 12. 10 a.m. for breakfast. Well, it's not 10 a.m. yet. Jacques, Café Jacques, breakfast. Wonder what time they open up for breakfast here. I'm an early riser myself. I like to have it, you know, I get up at six usually every day, so. Here's a nice cold townhouse. I like that sign. New Greyfire Mission Building to the uh, glory of God in mem uh, loving memory of the Reverend William Robertson, D.D., for nearly 40 years of ministry, this, ministering this parish, 1884. Nice little bench there. And then look at, look at that view right behind there. So the steps. You want to get your steps in. And this go all the way up. So this is called Granny's Green Steps. There you go. And then there's the castle right behind. And then, so it's a, I'm gonna, we're gonna go up that way a bit and then maybe come back. The one we just showed you there, if you look, look there, there's another steps, the Benno. There's the grass market sign and look goes up and then to the right here, you have a kick-ass cafe and hostel. So it used to be the old Salvation Army Women's Hostel. Right on the corner. It's a lovely building and it's right opposite uh, Fiddler's Arms. So it's a nice little area. See the band stand out getting ready for the tattoo, which is uh, two weeks. I think it's the first week uh, in August. It's a nice area. Though. Definitely recommend coming to visit an area. So we're going to walk up this part, see what we find this way. I'm starting to uh, look for that coffee. Hopefully, we'll find one open soon. Otherwise, we'll have to wait till I think about 10 o'clock. An interesting building right on the corner. So it forks between the two roads. That side's the East Fountain Bridge. And on this side is uh, Bread Street. I thought it was just an inter interesting looking building. And I stumbled across this place. So this is Usher Hall. This is where they have all their the shows and that so just pan around it's a big dome building and then it's right opposite the big Sheraton Hotel so it's fest uh, Festival Square in McRae's place that's how you find it here 
I'm just going to keep going on this way and I should end up hitting Princess Street. So then we'll walk around Princess Street and then we'll find out information. We'll tr try to find some place to have breakfast. Eventually something will open up. But there's the hall. Looks like a nice building. Look at the... Uh, yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, we're coming up to another interesting place. There's the back part of the castle, so we're basically walking all around it. There's Castle Terrace. St. Mark's Unitarian Church is up that way. King's Stable Road. Ooh, and there's this interesting place here. I saw the church steeple there back, and there's the graveyard. Parish Church of St. Cuthbert. So that's the graveyard of St. Cuthbert. Cuthbert's Kirkwood. Let's go walk in there, see what that's about, and then we'll head up back to the church and we'll be on Princess Street. Nice old building, part of it. Seventeen ninety. Sure, 1774. And there's the clock tower. And there's a nice big church there, so that's we'll head back up there. Oh no, that brings us to church. Here it is. St. John's Scottish Hospital Church. And we're right on. I believe this is Princess Street. Look at the square room. Caledonian. That's a nice building right there. There's one, two, three, four, five roads feeding into it. Royal Bank of Scotland, there's another Tesco. McDonald's. Oh, there's a Jolly Bee. Those are famous in the Philippines. I didn't know they had them here. Chicken, burgers, and fries. Uh, pies, sorry. side of the church. The stained glass is covered with like a wire mesh. That's to protect people from throwing stones at it. I don't know why you would do that. It's not, you know, not very cool to just you know, break something like that. And there's the back of the castle again. So we've come almost a full circle around where we started. We got off on the uh, before the tram, you see? here's a nice cross, this Celtic cross, Dean Ramsey. Got the castle in the background. Okay, this is a uh, Castle Street, it's just opposite the uh, Thomas Guthrie statue there, and you can see the back of the, the castle walls. Right behind it. Uh, it's an open marketplace, I guess. And it has a lot of shops. We're gonna walk up here. And there's a statue I noticed up there, so I wanna see what that's all about. Uh, 
Here we go, Thomas Chalmers DD DCL. Born 1780, died 1847. Here's some nice buildings along this road. This is called George Street. We were up about that way before, I think. We come to Frederick Street Crossroads, and here's another statue, a monument to Pitt. That's all in Roman numerals. So I'm not really sure what MDCCL1X is, IX, or died MDCCCVI. Take a look for that for the diagonal. Put up the numbers. So that's Pitt, Georgia Street, and Frederick Street. And there's another monument up ahead of that. We're going to make our way that way. And there's the back part of the castle. Walking down the Georgia Street. Now we come to the next monument as we're coming to Hanover Street. So you can see there's Starbucks. Don't like Starbucks, so I won't be going there. Um, we'll cross over here, and there's a nice view of the uh, the old town from here. We're obviously in the new town part. And here is George IV visited Scotland, and again with the uh, Roman numerals. That's what we have there. Try to go back without getting killed. And then if you look that way, there's another monument that way. And that's where we came from. Walk along. Here's a nice old building, Intercontinental Hotel. There's an old building there, a church, an old church or something. And here's the Hard Rock Cafe. So they have a Hard Rock Cafe in Edinburgh. And here's another old building. City cabs. I might take a cab back to uh, the old town because I've been doing a lot of walking the last two days. I started off this morning fairly much. Let's see. It's a nice old building. I don't know what it is. Oh, the dome. Whatever the dome is. It looks like a restaurant. Judging by the uh, menu on the outside. And this is uh, St. Agnew Andrews and St. George's West Church of Scotland. So that's what that building is. And we'll walk to these two monuments and then I'll probably grab a taxi to head back towards the center, see if I can grab some food, make sure my bag's there and locate myself for my next part of my adventure, which is I'll be checking into the, uh, the new hostel tonight. We'll see what that's like. Uh, it's a totally different one. This one will have, I think, 12 or 14 beds, whereas yesterday had eight. So it'll be another experience. And uh, like I said, I want to see the, the tunnel, the underground tunnel tour. Uh, I want to see the uh, St. Giles Cathedral. And then probably some other stuff we're going to mix in there. You know, and then I'm here all day tomorrow as well. So make sure you hit the uh, like and subscribe. It helps, especially with the like, it helps with the algorithms. And subscribe. I'm trying to get my uh, channel up to the uh, 1,000 mark. We're getting there. Just need your help with that. And uh, looking forward to heading to Nepal in September. So this is James Clerk Maxwell, 1831 to 1879. So he didn't live that long. So welcome to St. Andrew's Square Garden. And the statue here says Henry Dundas. First Viscount Lord Melville, 1742 to 1811. This is a, a green area that's open to the public. I see people walking out. There's Costa Coffee in the corner. 
there's water feature around. There's, there's the tram going by. There's a big lion there or something, or a lamb. Let's go see what that is. There's that spiral building. I don't know what that is. You, you've seen that at the top of the, uh, the castle when we were up at the castle during the one o'clock gun. Yeah. say a lion but it looks very like a lamb. Hmm. Is there a pack around it? Nope. So in front of the Balmoral, which is like a hotel, high-end hotel. There's another building here that caught my eye. It has a big, uh, big monument in front of it, so we'll see what that's all about. See this building. So we're gonna make our way up. I've changed my mind. Calton Hill is another key location in uh, Edinburgh you have to visit. So we're close to it, so we may as well push away. Now it might be a little bit of a climb, especially without the old recce. So Princess Street, you can see right up there, and then we'll head up back that way. Uh, North Bridge, and there's Wellington. It's building National Records of Scotland. So it's the register. So that's the, uh, the man on the horse there. <laughs> 